Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I wanted to show you all the card that I made for the challenge this month in my Yahoo group. Uh, this month's theme was Halloween. So this is the card that I came up with. And um, I'll take you through it uh, step by step. The, um, the inspiration for this card was this chipboard tree here in the middle. I was attempting to try and straighten up and organize my stuff down in the basement and came across this and unfortunately I only have one. I wish I had more of these because I really I like this tree and I have no idea where it came from um, but this was raw chipboard and I wanted to initially I wanted to just put black glitter all over it but then I came up with um, this idea instead. I painted it first with pitch black, um, a pitch black paint dauber. And once that was dry, I put Versamark all over it. And then I sprinkled some of this Marcosite embossing powder. This is from Stampendous. I have this at Michael's. I sprinkled some of that all over it. And once I hit it with the heat gun, um, it really and came to life. I really like the way it turned out. So once I had the tree done, I picked my background paper. This is um, from We Are Memory Keepers. Let me show it to you. Right here, this is their Halloween pack. I believe it's from last year. So I used this paper right here. And it was already distressed on this side and on the top with um, black so I just took my black soot ink pad and tried to distress <clears throat> the bottom and this side so it would kind of be consistent then um, for the moon I ended up taking a white piece of cardstock and I sprayed it with um, some of my new Starburst stains from Lindy Stamp Gang. I used uh, Winter Jasmine Gold. And I don't know if you can see it. There's a tiny, tiny bit of orange in here. And that was from this Red Hot Poker Orange. So once I had the paper all glimmery, and it's hard to see the glimmer there, I attempted to cut the circle out with my Martha Stewart circle cutter and the paper was just I guess the fibers were too weak because I had sprayed it so much and it wasn't turning out right so I ended up using my Sizzix die my circles die I used this one right here and cut out the circle and then I tried the first time to put this rub on directly onto the paper and that wasn't working either so I took one of my scrap pieces of acrylic you know that I cut up from all my packaging and save ran that through the Sizzix die and then put the rub on on top of that and then I just ran my acrylic through my Xyron uh, sticker maker and adhered that over top of the glimmered moon so I adhered these two pieces down. I added this little owl. He's just um, a little guy from my stash. I think he might be from Kane Company from a year or two ago. And then I finished it off with this little fence. Um, the fence is actually, it actually started out like this. This was a scrap that I found at one of the garage sales that I went to. This is in one of my haul videos. And you know, it's all full of dried up glue from a hot glue gun. And so I had to pick all that stuff off and cut off a chunk of it. And first I covered it with gesso just to get a base coat. And then I used um, my Distress Crackle Paint and Picket Fence, very appropriate and covered it with that and let that crackle and then I did go over it with a little bit of vintage photo and um, 
then wiped most of it off just so that it was in the cracks. You can still see a bit of it right here. And then I had these two little embellishments were just from previous product swaps that I've done. So I glued this little guy on with um, my glass metal and more glue. This stuff is really stinky, but it, it really does hold. So I glued that on and glued this little tombstone on. This, even though it was a sticker, I, I usually put a little extra glossy accents or something on the back just so I know that they're really going to stick. And <laughs> I ended up accidentally getting some black soot on the edge of the tombstone over here, so I ended up just rubbing some all over it to give it a more distressed look. So that is pretty much it for my Halloween card. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, I'm also going to try and update my blog. I haven't done that in a while. And um, my blog is mypapercastle.blogspot.com. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.